the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Ronak and you're watching Vector Art. So today we are going to learn how to create a cover letter in Adobe InDesign. So without any further ado, let's get started. So let's start by creating a new project. And go to the print and select the A4 size. Let's reduce the margin to zero. I'll type in zero and then go to pages and uh, change it to three and click on OK. So here we have our first page on which we will be creating the cover letter. The subsequent pages will be for the uh, uh, other resume pages. Uh, which I will be showing or uh, explaining it to you in the next upcoming videos. So now let's add the rulers. Just uh, go, use this direct, direct selection tool and uh, go to the rulers and drag it to the desired place. Now let's uh, zoom in and use the line tool and draw a line. Okay. Yeah. Now let's select the text tool. Before that, let's add some more rulers and use the selection tool to adjust the existing rulers. Okay, and also move the line to line that we had already created. Now let's make use of the text tool and draw some text let's increase the font size and also change the font let's change the font weight to semi bold and before that let's uh, change the Turning between the letters and change the font weight as well. Let's reduce the line spacing between the words. Now next add two more small lines next to the words. Use the Hold on or press the Alt key and uh, without releasing it, drag the uh, mouse so that you can copy the existing content. Now add the next content onto the page and change its font and uh, the spacing between the letters. So throughout this uh, video, we will be following the same process of uh, uh, spacing the uh, letters and uh, changing the font for other uh, elements that we are going to add. Also make sure you lock your uh, guides so that they do not hinder uh, the selections that you make on the page. So here I am adding uh, one more element which is the contact details. So I have just copied the existing UI designer element and pasted it onto the right hand side. Again I am making change to the properties of the element. Making use of the direct selection tool and copying and pasting the line element by holding on to the alt key and dragging it using the mouse. Okay. Next I will copy the contact detail element again and uh, this time I will change the font size 
and also change the content that is inside the element here I am adding the phone details or the contact details and let's change the font weight I'll copy it once again and here I'll add some dummy phone details Also change the uh, font weight to regular and increase the for line spacing between the uh, title and the detail. Uh, I would change the uh, font for all the elements that I've added till now to railway. Uh, I feel uh, this font looks much better let's copy the existing elements and change the content now that we are done uh, changing the font for all the elements okay let's repeat the process once again For the email to be added on the page again uh, these are some dummy details okay let's copy and paste the line this time I'm uh, increasing the line here size of the line now also I have locked the guides now this time so let's copy the UI designer uh, element again and uh, now we are going to add the two information increase the size of the text box and add the recipient's name his designation and uh, the company details increase the font weight and the spacing between the lines fourteen is fine. 14 uh, line spacing is fine now let's move on to adding an image so let's make up the ellipse frame tool and draw an ellipse on the right hand left hand side of the page use the selection tool and adjust the width and height in the properties panel Let's uh, set a size of uh, 7 points and drag the uh, ellipse to uh, the desired position and let's set a stroke of black 1 point. Now let's go to file place and uh, select the desired image and click on ok. Now you can see that the image is bigger so you have to make use of the selection tool and uh, double click on the image and adjust the size now i'll make use of the ellipse tool and draw an ellipse uh, uh, around the uh, uh, added image so i'll make use of the ellipse tool here and change the stroke width to two points and drag it uh, on the image I'll make some small adjustments so that the ellipse is uh, more closer to the image by adjusting its width and height okay 
okay so i think uh, we are done doing that okay. so next uh, we will add the body of the cover letter so for that we'll have to you make use of the existing uh, uh, content or you can uh, again uh, go to the text tool and draw a new text on the uh, page here i have made use of the text tool to draw a new text on the screen and then i'm changing its properties like the font the font weight the font spacing line spacing and the kerning between the letters Next, I will add the body. Salutation. Also, I will adjust the line spacing and the uh, kerning. I will add some uh, placeholder text here. Change its uh, font weight and the font spacing and the line spacing. Now I'll repeat uh, uh, the same text number of times. In a real world scenario, we'll be adding your uh, uh, profile details here. And I will select the complete text and justify it uh, so that it fit perfectly fits the edges okay now let's add the signature uh, details align it to the left this time you should not justify the alignment and then align it to the left and add the name and uh, leave some space below it so that uh, there is there is space for a uh, signature okay so next let's move on to the other elements now let's uh, copy the line tool align uh, again and paste it uh, below the image now and increase its size Now next copy the email and uh, the uh, other details and place it below the image and now next we will add the other details like from and the date. Let's change the font weight to bold and also change the kerning between the letters. Okay, now let's copy and paste. Uh, before that, let's add the designation and change its uh, font weight to regular. Also change the font size and uh, the spacing between the lines. Now let's uh, copy and paste it one more time, one last time, wherein we'll be adding the date and the format in which the date has to go. So there you go guys, our uh, cover letter is ready. So next we will uh, save the file. So let's go to file. Okay, so now let's go to file and click on save, save as and uh, select the 
save type as id ml and give a file name and save it i will be sharing this file in the uh, video description um, you are free to download it from the drive now let's export it to a pdf format and i'll show you how what is the final result okay uh, it's been exported now i'll open it in the explorer so hope you all liked watching this video if you do please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe to my channel bye bye